miles or so southwest of downtown Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the LA Chargers. Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to meet Leather. And we are underway in Southern California. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Nice catch. Just couldn't get his feet down in bounds. And offensively lucky to have that one back. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. On the screen, this is Eckler. That oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. They'll run for it with Eckler. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And that's into the hands of Eckler. A good convergence there defensively. Only a yard and it's second down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing. And they shut that one down with little game. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And that's going to be good for Chargers first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Once more, here's Eckler. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. But when you're going up against a talented receiver like that, you just know that they're going to bring more people to him, right? They've got to double cover him every chance they get. I think that that is what we're going to see all game long, an early taste of that double, maybe even sometimes triple coverage we might see. Yeah, I think what they're counting on, his talent to sometimes beat that double coverage. Well, across the field, and that will easily be intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it, and he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. On first and ten, it's Herbert. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. They'll toss it out right to Herbert. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. 
On second down, a run with Herbert. That shoves him off at the 20. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. 46 yards rushing for him on their opening drive of the contest, and it's now first and goal. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. It's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Herbert. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. We're scoreless after one. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal? Two plays having gone backwards. The keeper good for only four, and that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays. Because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. That spot of the field... Call one of those and go get six. They snap it to Fields. They'll roll him out right. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields taking it in from two yards out. And the Bears post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Charger drive about to get going. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first down, Justin Herbert. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Now a second and ten. Now it's Herbert. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's in person or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. And he'll be forced out of bounds, shy of the line of scrimmage, so that'll be credited as a sack. A loss of two there, second down. So when the defense complains about having to do pursuit drills in the heat of training camp, plug in this play. Excellent pursuit. Force the quarterback out of the pocket. He ends up trying to run for it. Instead, he goes out of bounds and loses yardage. That goes down as a sack for the defense. Herbert powering up the middle. And a short gain down to about the 33. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you get ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws, the plays of that nature, and make sure you don't get hurt. On 
third down, Herbert. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Fields. Eluding the pressure right. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. What an excellent end result for them. But let's go back to the decision, first of all, to go for it all on fourth down. A lot of pressure on the quarterback's shoulders, but they knew he could handle it. Makes the right read there, gets the ball to his receiver. They get the first down. It's now first and goal. Here we go. They'll run here with Herbert. And he's in to the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Khalil Herbert, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Bears have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Santos with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit. Like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all the way? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And he'll work this one out to about the 38. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Here's Herbert. That is caught. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And that is incomplete. Now oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. On Herbert, his third interception. And the Bears are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. A nightmare of a first half for him. That's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect him to go in the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Now a second and two. To throw his fields. Flushed out right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Here we go. 
Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Fields. This will be caught downfield by Neal. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. First down throw, Fields. And it's caught. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And the timeout comes in with two seconds remaining. So they can trot out the field goal unit for the try before we hit the lockers. in succession not sure this D knows what hit him but now they got to get ready it's first and goal and he is in touchdown Chicago Justin Fields as time expires in the first half and the Bears will extend their lead on a final play of the half well, fans of old school football, they got to be loving this partner. All three drives so far have ended in a touchdown and all three on the ground. And when you say fans of old school football, count me in because you just don't see ground games dominate the scoring by pounding the rock like this anymore. To me, this is refreshing. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Easy, easy, easy. Fields now to throw. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Everything's been going right here in this one. This offense, they've been in complete control from the outset. And here's another big play. Here These kind of routes have been open all game long, and they continue to take advantage. Here's a give to Herbert. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Give all that credit defensively to Khalil Mack. A great stop in the backfield. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Here's Fields escaping the pressure right. Fields hit and the ball is loose and picked up by the Chargers. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And it's a tremendous return as they finally get him at about the 10-yard line. 
So certainly not at all what you're looking for here to start the third quarter, a fumble on their opening drive. Not at all. You're exactly right about that because this had a chance to be the drive to put everything away. A touchdown here, that might have put everything out of reach for them. They definitely handed out a lifeline to the defense on that play. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going, trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. Flush to his right. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Justin Herbert, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers take the force fumble and convert it into six points. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard. But now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Herbert and the Chargers stay in put. They'll line up and go for two. Hey, Kappa, 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 Kappa. Ready. They'll try and throw for it. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and 10. Now it's Fields. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Eluding the pressure right, and he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. now second down. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in, and he's just got to throw this one away. Here we go. Second and ten. Play action. It's Fields. That is caught by Herbert. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Good work there to force the incompletion and fourth down. Normally, it'd be a quick change for the punt return unit, but this offense is converted twice on fourth down. So and now off to the races, down the right side. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, Chicago! Khalil Herbert with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears' decision to go for it pays off with six points. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. 
and they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Charger drive about to get going. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Back to the air. Herbert on second down. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right side line. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. A penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. Now Herbert going to change the look. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And Allen complete downfield to Allen. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. He got 29 yards that time. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. 